call me a madman, but I just look at things very different. And I believe the police and the justice system are incentivizing us, people of colour, to not commit crimes. So let's say, for example, the police are harsher on people of colour. Let's say, for example, the justice system are harsher on people of colour. Let's say, for example, if you're a man of colour, you tea from the shop, you will get six months. Or let's say you're a man of non-colour, you understand what I'm trying to say? You tea from the same shop, you get a month in prison, yeah? Do you know that's actually incentivizing us to not commit crimes? Like, if you know, as a man of colour, if you commit the same crime as a man of non-colour, you're going to get triple the sentence. And that. Isn't that an incentive to not commit crimes? You know they're actually doing us a favour to some degree. And it's so crazy. People of colour will be moaning, oh, well, why are people of colour getting harsher sentences than people of non-colour for murdering people? It's like, blood, someone's murdered someone. Why do you give a shit? Why do you care? So you need to start looking. I don't know if it's some... You know, the glass is half full or optimistic, pessimistic sort of mindset and that. But that's the way I look at life. They're incentivizing us to not commit crimes. If you know that the sentence that you're going to get is worse than the average person or the person that don't have melanated, pigmented skin, that is an incentive to not commit the crime, blood. So that's just the way I think of it. I, I Don't get it twisted. When I was on road, I didn't think, oh, you know, if I commit this crime then I'm going to get worse than a, a whitey or whatever. And I, I never I never thought like that. I've never thought that my life is harder or will be harder because I'm a black man and that. Now, that bullshit has been fed to me from day one, but I don't have a weak mind and that. So I don't, I don't walk around with this victim mindset. So I've never believed that. Um, I believe that like I've had man say to me, oh, they committed a crime with a white you. They both got nicked, but the white you got lesser time. And I had to send a voice note back to a man saying, yo, you know when they convict you and they sentence you, you know they take into consideration your past history, you know. You know they take into consideration just your day-to-day -day lifestyle and that. If two men commit a crime, yeah, let's say they're the same age, everything's pretty much the same. If one guy has a child, he's more than likely to let... to." He's less likely to go to prison just because he has a child and that. Like, there's so many little different factors and that that are taken into consideration. Now, it's going to be very unfair to send one man to prison and one man to not. But things like that can happen. They take a lot of things into consideration. I'm saying to the guy on the phone, like, yo, you know they probably took your previous convictions into consideration. So, yeah, you commit the same crime as a white you at the same time, but... You know, you might have had a longer criminal conviction list than him. They take all of that into consideration and that. So, listen, if you don't want to get... If you don't want to be in a position where you feel like the police are harsher on you and the justice system are harsher on you for being a black man, then just remove yourself from the situation, rude boy. Don't commit crime. Don't worry about protesting. Oh, they need to have less harsh sentences, easier sentences on black people and that fam. The way to remove yourself from that situation or, you know, don't put yourself in the firing line is to remove yourself from that situation. So you're not even going to be in a position where the police are going to be harsh on you or the justice system is going to be harsh on you.